Spring signifies new life as leaves bloom on trees and flowers burst open with color. But as 41 NBC's Tucker Sargent explains, another part of nature comes alive this time of year too. And it's not as pretty. It's that time of year again, bug season. Just like the, the trees are leafing out now, everything starts growing in the springtime. So the life cycle of many insects is that they, they begin growing in the springtime and their populations will reach a peak by midsummer or fall. Now, luckily, you won't have to worry about any of these bugs in your house. These guys are called hissing cockroaches all the way from Madagascar. But there are a few other roaches you do need to worry about, like smoky brown and German cockroaches. The most common palmetto bug type roach that we have in Georgia is called the smoky brown cockroach. It's a large inch and a half long chestnut brown cockroach. The German roach lays an egg sac and in that egg sac 24 to 48 roaches. So it takes about three months and all of those roaches have matured and they begin to lay egg sacs. Now that's a lot of unwanted pests. Any living organism needs just three things to survive. Food, water, and a place to live. German roaches, for instance, they'll show up in a kitchen first. Uh, you'll find them underneath the sink. They'll get into the bathroom, but it's typically they're there for the food and they're there for the water. So just general forms of cleanliness, doing the dishes before you go to bed at night, making sure the garbage is taken out on a routine basis uh, will prevent fly problems. It'll prevent cockroach problems. If you've still got a bug problem in your house after you clean up the clutter, experts recommend staying away from aerosol sprays. Instead, baits are better for killing off those unwanted pests. You can find them at your local hardware store. Anytime you're using baits, it's very important that you use small amounts of baits in a lot of different areas. You want to put those, uh, maybe as many as 10 of those in a kitchen, put them in a drawer, put them beside the garbage, put them in out of the way places where the cockroaches live and hide. And uh, at nighttime, the cockroaches will come out, find those feet on it, and, it, and it will slowly get rid of them. You should also cover any holes on the outside of your home and fill all cracks in walls and the home's foundation. I use this product here, it's called Great Stuff and um, you can pick it up at any builder supply. It's about three or four dollars a can. Um, I do recommend you get a little pair of latex gloves because when it gets on you, it doesn't come off easy. But um, one can will seal up just about all the holes that you have in your house. And if you follow all these steps and still have a problem, it might be time to call your local exterminator. In Macon, Tucker Sargent, 41, NBC News. I got the heebie-jeebies when Tucker was holding that roach. I don't know how he did that. But you should also be on the lookout for any rotting materials in your home. That could be a sign of termites, and those are very difficult to get rid of. Bed bugs and fleas also come out in full force in the warmer months. Dr. Dan Suter with UGA says it's okay to handle roach and flea problems on your own, but you should seek professional help to get rid of bed bugs and termites.